Hey and welcome to Diagraphics. Today we're going to draw this flat design Cybertruck inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now go to edit, go to preferences, go to guides and grid, and type in grid line every 10 millimeters. And don't worry if you're using another unit, it will automatically convert it to your preferred unit. Choose subdivision 10 and click OK. Now select the pen tool, select the point where the lines are crossing and click. Then go two large squares up, one, two, and six to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and click. Now go eight more large squares to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one large square down. Click again. Now connect these shapes. To deselect the shape, click Ctrl Shift A. Now do another shape from this point. Go one large square down, go all the way to the back and click. Go to this corner and connect the shapes. Click Ctrl Shift A. Now zoom in a little bit until you see the 10 subdivisions. Select the pen tool. Go to this corner and go five small squares down. One, two, three, four, five. Now go two large squares to the right and down to this line. Click again. Hold down the space part to move to the other side. Click right here with two large squares to the edge. Then go five small squares up. One, two, three, four, five. Click. Click at this corner. Hold down the space bar again to go to the other side and connect the shapes. Now zoom out a little bit again. Select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this point to this line and drag it to the other side. Now choose the selection tool and move this line three small squares up. One, two, three. Now we want to color the shapes. For this project I have created these swatches. If you want to use my swatches you can download them down in the description. When they are downloaded you can go to this menu, go to open swatch library, other libraries and find them on your computer to load them in. So now select the first shape and select a light gray color. Select the second shape, select a slightly darker gray color. Select this rectangle and again select a slightly darker gray color. Now select the last shape and select a dark gray color. Now select all the shapes and remove the stroke. Now we are starting to see the outline of the Cybertruck. Now go to the pen tool and go down to the front corner. Go two large squares in and create a point just inside this shape. It doesn't have to be precise for now. Now go to the top and create a point inside the gray shape. Now go three large squares to the right and create another point. Now go down and create a point just above this line. Connect these shapes. Now choose the direct selection tool and choose this point. Notch it down one step. Adjust all these points until there's about the same amount of space all the way around the window. Now select the zoom tool and zoom in on the front until you see the 10 subdivisions again. Now choose the line tool, go to this corner right here, go one small square down and one to the right. Click. Now go six small squares to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Make the stroke one millimeter wide. Now go to the width profile and choose this triangle and click and drag the corner to rotate it 180 degrees. Now go to object, go to expand appearance to make this a shape instead of a line. Color this shape white. Now zoom out until you see the entire car. And now we need to do the wheels. So go to the rectangle tool and click and hold. Now find the polygon tool. Now choose a random spot and click and drag a polygon. And while holding the mouse button down, click the down arrow key to make a pentagon. Before releasing the mouse button, hold down the shift key to make it straight and release the mouse button. Now go to transform, make sure the link is on and make the width 37 millimeter. Now go to object, go to path, go to offset path and type in minus three millimeter. Click OK. Now pick the selection tool and make the shape black. Select the surrounding shape and make this shape the same color as the bottom of the car. Select both of these shapes and drag them down to about here. Now rotate these shapes until this line is about parallel to this line right here. Now drag the shape to the left until this corner is about half a large square from the edge. And make sure there's about the same amount of space from this edge to this line as from the window to this line. Now hold down the Alt key to duplicate and drag the shape to the right. 
hold down the shift key to make sure the shapes are aligned and place it so there's one large square from this corner to the edge. Now select the entire car, go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to get this minus icon, click and drag to delete the shapes below the car. Now select the ellipse tool, right here. Draw a random ellipse while holding down the shift key to make sure it's totally round. Go to transform, make sure the link is on and make this shape 24 millimeters. Now go to object, go to path, go to offset path and offset the path by minus five millimeters. Give the shape a dark gray color and select the other shape, which is the tire and give it a darker color. Now select the entire wheel and drag it down to this socket. Now hold down the alt key to duplicate the wheel, drag it over here, hold down the shift key to make sure it aligns and place it in this socket. Now for the final touches, select the window and give it the same dark color as the tires. Now go to the direct selection tool, select this point right here, notch it one arrow key to the right. Now select these points right here and notch them one arrow key to the left. And this is how you draw the Cybertruck inside Adobe Illustrator. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel for more of these graphic design tutorials. Thank you for watching.